Today's video from Sam Fresco. We're taking a look at the end of day Z1 report available on the NR510R register. So if you're familiar with my videos, you'll have seen me explain about the difference between X and Z. X gives you the information, so it's a read only, but it does not reset the data. Whereas the Z resets the data in that file apart from the grand total and pushes the information over into a periodic reporting zone. So you would use an X report if you were doing uh, maybe a shift change or to see how well the trading day was going but you do your Z um, at the end of the day for your cashing up. So to do the Z1 financial on the 510R key round to the Z position choose one Z report by pressing cash tend then financial and financial again and then your daily Z1. The cash draw fires enabling you to remove the um, insert tray and the report prints out the front of the machine. What I'd always do at this point is turn the key back round to red or off so you don't leave it in the report mode and then we can tear the report off and take a look at the information you'll get on there. If you've seen my previous video on the X report it's the same information all that's happened is the information has now been reset so we get the PLU total so the number of PLU sold and the value we get an adjustment total if necessary. Tax information is recorded on there, so non-tax sales, tax one sales, uh, and then the tax one content. If we had more tax rates programmed or sold, they would feature on there. And of course, that own information only appears if you've got tax set up on the machine. Any discounts are recorded on there. Refunds um, and voids will also be recorded. You have your gross sales and then crucially you have your split by cash and charge. So on this machine we use the charge one button for our credit card sales so it enables, enables us to properly reconcile the till. If we do another Z report now I'll just illustrate um, the difference between an X and a Z. So on my previous video I showed you the X report and the data and reset. Because we've done the Z report, Z1 report, the file has been wiped down. So if we take a look at that second report, there's no information on there other than the grand total. OK, I've got plenty more videos showing you how to get the best out of the reporting functionality on the 510R. Some of those will be appearing on screen now, so you're welcome to check those out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit samforshelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.